This is the nation's capital, and we think only politics and you know only serious international affairs happen here. That does happen here, but we're still a community full of black and brown people. And to see DC in a militarized zone is just like, oh goodness. It's security checkpoints with National Guards armed from their chest to their legs. The bridges are cut off, the bus lines are cut off. So people literally are stuck in their homes. It feels really eerie and dystopian that something is bound to happen. I'm Kaya Parker. I am the executive chef and founder of Kaya Night Kitchen. We are a free community pantry based in DC. We pop up in various parts of underprivileged neighborhoods and give out free produce, free organic tampons, hygienic products, um, toiletries, toys, clothing, everything under the sun to the residents of the DMV area. Today we're doing our weekly Tuesday produce giveaway at Minnesota Avenue Station. This Tuesday is in particular different because of the Proud Boys, the inauguration mess. I was going to stop my service. I was like, no, we're going to be in a part of the city they're not going to be in. So let's just like persevere, keep going, keep pushing, no matter what's happening. Our mission is to end the food apartheid across the DMV area. Ward 7 and 8 of DC only has three grocery stores for about 150,000 people. Thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Only corner stores, liquor stores, laundry mess, the total like usual spin of what they put in black and brown neighborhoods. It's intentional like lack of resources. It's intentional like displacement. Greens, everything you need, toiletries. We have it all for free over here every Tuesday from 3 to 5 p.m. Thank you. We'll be here next week. Us continuing our mutual aid work and showing up in these neighborhoods that desperately need the resources, it feels really, you know, it feels amazing. It feels like we're untouchable. Like, no matter how many Proud Boys and MAGA supporters come in, we're still gonna make sure that we stay fed, we keep us safe, that we look out for the community in any way we can. I just hope the city can return to, you know, the big block party vibe that it once was. Just return to community, return to love and hope and resilience.